What is up, Humanoid Nation? So it's been a while, a long while, since I reacted to firm videos. I can't remember how long it's been, but let's just say it's been a long while. It's been a long while. So today's video is by Copa 90 Football. The top 10 most shocking old firm moments. Again, I know nothing about the firms or anything about rugby or football, European football. People are going to kill me in the comments. But I enjoy watching it because these guys are hardcore as fuck. So let's this do is this. 90, and these are the top 10 most shocking old firm moments. At number 10, it's El Hadji Juf. Adding an already controversial striker to the fiery mix of an old firm was always going to be a risk. Juf had history with Hoops fans after spitting at one of the Celtic faithful Ew. during his time playing for Liverpool. Throughout his old firm debut, Juf had an ongoing battle with Celtic captain Scott Brown and it was a compelling narrative of the day as the pair traded insults as well as tackles. However, Brown won the battle that day after he scored a spectacular equaliser and then famously celebrated I love the I love the audience. They're so not they're, known for his they're so fire. Many were shocked they're on react. fire. However, they love their the striker team. would have the last laugh. When Rangers won the League Cup against Celtic, he grabbed the trophy and mimicked Brown's celebration, which is now known as the Doofy. The Doofy. At nine, the, Doofy. the 1957 Scottish League Cup Final. It may have happened oh, in 1957, but the Scottish okay. Cup final still holds painful memories for Rangers fans. Their team were humiliated 7-1 by Celtic, and it's still their heaviest defeat by their bitter rivals. However, they should count themselves lucky. The score could have looked far worse. Completely outplayed on the day, red-faced Rangers were just glad it didn't go into double figures as Celtic hit the woodwork four times. Four times. Celtic fans remember this date well and continue to sing their song about their day at Hamden in the Sun. Four day, eight, four times. Oh shit. With Rangers finally returning back to the top league in 2016, it was always going to be interesting to see the first Old Firm League game in over four years. And if you thought that their absence would have calmed down the fixture, you would be very wrong. On the pitch, it was less feisty than usual, with Celtic running away with the game as 5-1 victors. But in the stands, the hatred was there for yeah, all hung out see. the flag. Wait, hold on. They hung out the flag of war. I guess there's fighting words. The fans were Are they fighting the words? And sectarian chants. Meanwhile, Celtic. Ow, you plum, hun, scum. <laughs> Whatever they're saying. <laughs> ah, it's great. Banners and hanging effigies in Rangers scarves Be on the stands, whilst Rangers fans set Wait, about smashing what the the hell? park, causing thousands of pounds of damage. Whilst Rangers Hold fans on a second. Offensive banners and hanging Oh shit! They're hanging sex dolls! Damn! They're savage as fuck! Effigies in Rangers scarves from the stands, whilst Rangers fans set about smashing up Celtic Park, Causing thousands of pounds of damage. God damn. At seven, they don't play it's around. Helicopter Sunday. Whilst not technically an old firm game, Helicopter Sunday's impact on Rangers and Celtic supporters cannot be underestimated. In 2005, the league title had gone down to the wire, with Celtic going into the final game of the season two points ahead and leading Motherwell 1 0 with only minutes to spare. It finally looked like the league had been decided. The league trophy was whisked away by helicopter to Fir Park to be presented to the Celtic team. And then this happened. In the 88th minute, Scott McDonald scored an equaliser, giving Rangers the advantage. McDonald then added another to make it 2-1. The day was best remembered by a Scottish commentator screaming, the helicopter is changing direction as the chopper turned around and headed towards the Rangers team. Damn! It's, it's Lennon and McCoy's clash. In the Scottish Cup replay in 2011, I need to find that online that somewhere. Was in no way slowing down, and that in fact it was more bitter than ever. During the 90 minutes, there were 12 yellow cards shown, and three Rangers players sent 12 off. 12 yellow Even cards. Worse, viewers saw Celtic manager Neil Lennon clashing with Rangers assistant Ali McCoy at the dugout. The pair squared up to each other, and it was an ugly sight on a night with a lot of them. At number five, Hugh Dallas and the coin. You know this is a stormy encounter when a game that requires a referee to have stitches after being struck by a coin and fans rushing onto the pitch only makes it to number 5. Rangers won the league at their arch rivals own ground after they beat them 3-0 but the game was remembered for all the wrong reasons. With Rangers already a goal up, Hugh Dallas dismissed Celtic's Stefan May and then it just went crazy. Hugh Dallas was struck by a coin and TV cameras Damn. showed the bloody ref being patched up by paramedics. How? Sharp was that coin, like... 
in Europe, like your coins are. How dangerous are your coins in that side of the pond? To the whole world. Seconds later, he awarded a penalty against Celtic, resulting on fans getting onto the pitch. After the final whistle, Rangers performed an ill-advised huddle near their fans, a gesture that is usually performed by Celtic players. It was a move that prompted more missiles raining down on the players. At number four, it's the Old Firm Shame Game. It won't be the first or indeed the last Old Firm fixture to be dubbed the Shame Game. Over 60 supporters were arrested after the game, but the biggest talking point were the unruly antics of some of the players. By the end of the 2-2 draw, Celtic had 10 players, Rangers 9. In the 17th minute, a scuffle broke out which saw fists flying and players held by their throat. Oh Rangers shit, a good old fashioned brawl. Off alongside Celtic's Frank McAvenny. Then Terry Butcher joined his Rangers teammate for an early bath later on in the game. At number 3, it's Gaz's gesture. The brilliant midfielder lit up Scottish football with his dazzling football skills. But as always, there was another side to Gaza. After he signed in 1995, he scored in a friendly game and performed a flute playing gesture. A reference to a song played by the Orange Or- Where are the fans? That's a bad photo to take. With no one in sight. That says me though. And one that is a loyalist symbol. Unsurprisingly, uproar ensued and Gaza apologised for the incident. However, he didn't learn his lesson and he was seen performing the gesture again, this time during a Rangers Celtic match. He later claimed that he received death threats from the IRA after he made the gesture. At number two, it's the Scottish Cup Final of 1980. Celtic may have won the 1980 Cup Final 1 0, but the result was of little importance as the game is remembered for all the wrong reasons. The Battle of Hamden. Oh, I watched this one. The pitch. Oh, where the fans just went onto the field and just rioted. With the riot descending into a pitch battle involving bricks and bottles. Mounted police attempted to stop the riot. Patrick, the vast Patrick Duffy started the riot. Outside the stadium in an attempt to defuse any trouble. If you've seen my previous video, where I talk about some guy looking like Patrick Duffy, you'll get the idea. You'll get the joke. It's like out of apocalypse now, and it resulted in the ban of alcohol at all football events in Scotland. Patrick Duffy started the riot. signing of Mo Johnson for Rangers. No signing in Scottish history has had an impact quite like the day Johnson was paraded at Ibrox to a room full of shock journalists. First off, Johnson was a former Celtic player, so it was assumed he was going to go back to his former club, especially after he was pictured with a Celtic jersey. Furthermore, Johnson was also a Catholic football player. Rangers were said to have an unwritten rule about not signing Catholic players, but that all changed the day sooner signed Johnson. It caused uproar from both sides. Crazy. Some Rangers fans not happy with the signing. However, he managed to get the Ibox faithful on his side after scoring an injury time winner against Celtic in November 1989. That was Copa 90's top 10 most shocking moments in the old firm derby. But what do you think? Have we missed one? Let us know in the comment section. Like, I don't know if you missed one, but these are some great top 10 things that they did. And like the firm. I don't know, man. Every time I watch these videos, I learn something new. And it's great watching them in action, too. But yeah, always amazing to watch one of these and react to it. Like I said, I learn something new each time I watch one of these videos. But anyways, that's it for now, Human Nation. Human Freak out. Bye! Pasito a pasito, suave, suavecito.